All right, so CPI was down slightly last week as predicted, and of course, rates kind of seem to be hovering around like the 10 year, the five year seem to be hovering right between that kind of 340 to 360 range. Right now, they don't seem to be breaking below that. That's what we're seeing with rates, but there is a ton of big news coming out this week. There is, of course, all of the debt ceiling drama, which is going to continue on for a little while longer. Uh, We'll see what happens with that, but they generally end up figuring something out. There's also retail sales coming out this week and uh, home builder confidence is up. So this kind of makes a lot of sense because if builders are studying the market and they know some information that we don't know, that could mean that rates are kind of trending to the downside, which means the real estate market's going to heat up. Now, if you guys, I talk about Barry Habib all the time. If you don't know him, check him out. He owns uh, MBS Highway. He is highly focused on rates. And he his prediction right now is that June rates will start coming down because he is expecting CPI in June to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 3.5 to 3.6. which is a pretty significant drop from where we're at currently, which is 4.9. That was the most recent average CPI over the last 12 months. So that number is trending down and he's expecting it to drop even greater in June, which would be a good thing for rates and a good thing for all of those realtors, uh, mortgage brokers, loan officers, you name it, that's going to cause the market to heat up. If rates drop just a little bit, the real estate market will heat up in a market where we already don't have enough inventory. So this is all good news for all of us for business. If things have been a little bit slow for you, if deals haven't been making sense, if we get a little bit of pullback on rates, things will start moving again. So this is all really good news for us. We still have the banking crisis uh, looming over us. If you are like me and most of my clients, you banked with First Republic. They did lots of fabulous loans for you. Low rates, really, really low rates. Maybe you got lines of credit from them. Maybe they, you had a, a large banking relationship with them where they were able to you know, lend higher loan to value based on the relationship. All that kind of very specialized relationship lending is out the window. Jamie Dimon has made it very clear that he's not going to continue on with the First Republic model. Their rates are already higher than the market, have been since, uh, you know, the the kind of SVB collapse when they started getting hammered. Um, So that's gone. So what do you do? What's available? Well, there are still, you know, programs available. You don't have that same relationship. You can't just have that go-to lender anymore. We've got to find different players out there. And I don't know that you can even replace First Republic, that relationship, but there is still good lending. We still have interest only. We still have competitive lending for, um, you know, three, five, seven, and 10 year fixed. We still have some bridge financing available. Of course, since Prime is at eight and a quarter, bridge financing is not the most attractive. We've got a couple of programs there that are below Prime, which is helpful. So there are programs available. We just aren't going to be as spoiled as we have been in the past with First Republic, at least not yet. So I am seeing a slight uptick in activity. I'm seeing more people that are refinancing to pull cash out for opportunities, people that are getting lines of credit to have cash for opportunities. And I am also seeing a little pickup in purchase activity because rates have come down slightly over the last few weeks. So as of this week, rates are kind of holding steady. I'm not really seeing too much of a drop, of course, because treasuries have been kind of yo-yoing, so to speak, um, between that 340 and 360 range. So lenders have adjusted their numbers for that. So let's watch for those June numbers and see what happens to treasuries when CPI drops. But this is a great sign for the real estate market. It is pretty evident that the Fed has already broken the banking system and now now things need to start turning around before we cause any more issues. They will never admit to that, but that is definitely a part of what's going on. So if you have any questions on deals, what you need right now is a really strong partner. So whoever you go to, make sure that they're educating people, make sure that they're helping people and providing information because if they're educating, that means they're going to help you out a lot more uh, to figure out what deals work for you, where you can go, all of that good stuff. So um, if you have any questions, if you have any deals that you're thinking about, looking at, considering, Uh, feel free to reach out. It's what I do all day long. So it takes me just a few minutes to run through these numbers. I can tell you exactly what you can do and what your options are so you can make the best investment decisions for your portfolio. Have a great week, everyone. And I will see you next week. 